Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed my five minute makeup tutorial collaboration that I did with my other silver sisters. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this hair look in around six to seven minutes using my Dyson Airwrap Styler with the hot brush, the rough dryer, and the flat brush. This whole style took me if I wasn't talking to you, it would normally take me five to six minutes. I love it when I have to be out the door, if I'm in a rush, or if I just want a really good salon style blowout. With grey hair, um, the Dyson Airwrap is amazing. The Supersonic hair dryer is also great because they don't go over a temperature that damages your hair. I think it doesn't go above 175 degrees. I will check it. I will put something here, but I think that is correct. Um, so I just wanted to show you because I have, I did my hair video previously, which was my supersonic, how I use my supersonic hairdryer with my hair brushes. That was a great video, but I just don't think with the super, with the air wrap, sorry, I don't think these two attachments get the praise they deserve. So I'm going to show you how I blow dry my hair from wet to dry. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, please subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday at 7am London time. I'm also on Instagram. I will link everything down below and put a little banner here and I will see you in a couple of minutes with soaking wet hair. Right, so let's get started. So um, I'm gone, I've already gone in with my hair growth leave-in conditioner by Lee Stafford. I did that off camera because I don't want to get the spray near the camera. But um, I basically spray this all over the hair, underneath the hair, I kind of spritz underneath at the sides and underneath a bit further and then brush it through and kind of rub it into the scalp a little bit. I just picked this up the other day. I've used it once or twice and I really like it. It's the L'Oreal Elvive Dream Lengths Super Blow Dry Cream. This protects up to 230 degrees for what we're doing today. We don't need to worry about that. But on day two hair, I do use my heat curling tongs and I have them in my locker at work. Tomorrow I'm in the office, it's Sunday today. So I need this for tomorrow and this does last up to, I think 72 hours or something. Uh, yes, yeah, 72 hours with shape memory. So that's really great. So I'm gonna pop a tiny little bit in my hand, um, probably that much for my hair length, like a 10 penny size width. Rub it through and then just stick to the mid lengths and the ends. Anything you have left at the end, just pop it into the roots, but just concentrate it at the ends. And this um, contains multivitamins and castor oil. Castor oil is known for its hair growth um, properties. I do, I use castor oil. I've got natural press castor oil. I use it in my eyebrows and my lashes every night before I go to bed. So today we're going to be using my air wrap styler and I'm not going to be using the curly bits that everybody talks about. I'm going to be using the, no, excuse the filter of these and I'm just sort of holding them a bit further away. I'm going to use the flat brush and I'm going to use the round brush. These two together are amazing and they make my hair so big and lovely and like I said, a professional blow dry. Um, I bought the volume kit. When you buy the air wrap styler, you can buy the volume one or you can buy the complete, I think it is. So the volume is for the is for limp hair. I didn't need the complete because that gives you two of these. This one is for fine hair and the other one's for really thick hair because it's just me using it. I haven't got anybody else in my household. I just bought what I needed. So I picked up this one and this one. So um, I'm just going to go plug it in and then I will show you how we use it. So I've just done my parting. So I'm going to wear my hair to the side today. Since I got my new haircut a couple of weeks ago, I tend to go more to the side because I have a sweeping fringe. And that kind of really only works if it's swept. So all you need for this is a hair clip. Um, I've got my Dyson all ready to go. And this is the rough dryer. If you've never used a Dyson before, you just have to click this bit down to kind of release the bits inside and then pop this into place and let it go and that kind of holds that steady. Um, I'm going to use for the rough dry, I'm going to use the top heat and the top speed and I'm going to just um, speed through it, play some music for you so you haven't got to watch me dry my hair. But basically I dry my hair to about 80%. 
um, because when you use the air wrap, you don't need your hair saturated. It works better when it's almost dry. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just rough dry my hair. If you're considering getting one of these and you think it's got a hair dryer on it, do I need the supersonic as well? I do have both. The supersonic hair dryer is amazing. This is not a hair dryer, this is a rough dryer. It's just literally to dry your hair off to make sure that it's ready for styling. So if you need a separate hair dryer and a different to an air wrap, the answer is yes. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and rough dry. Honestly, it's so fast. So I just want to reposition the camera so you could see my whole head. So when we go like this and kind of lift it, you can get the whole picture. So first of all, I'm going to get in with a flat brush just to dry these bits off because we don't need much volume here. It's just to dry it, but to dry it straight. So once again, I'm just going to click this out, click this in. I'm going to leave the speed, sorry, the heat at the top heat I'm going to bring the speed down to the lowest setting because the high setting is really for the um, the wrappers, so I don't need that. So I'm going to go in now and just straighten my hair. You're literally just brushing your hair and look, it goes really nice and straight. It's got a nice little kit to it. If you notice, I kind of went underneath. These move around, so it moves with your hair and you can feel the heat coming through. It's not so hot that it, um, it hurts your head or anything. It's really, really good. Just gonna pull these down. So I'm just gonna pull down the sides um, and then just pin this bit back up again. Have a slurp of coffee because it's still the morning. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, so I'm going to do the same thing with the sides. because I'm talking to you sort of in between but normally if I was doing this um you know just getting ready for work or something I could do my whole head in like six seven minutes probably so this is where I'm going to change the attachment so I'm going to unpin the hairbrush and pin in the hot roller because I like a bit of volume at the crown. I like to have this little bit a bit bigger and um, just to add a bit more height because my hair is so fine. So I'm just gonna grab this bit. I'm going to take the temperature down to number two because it can get quite hot with the hot brush and the speed is still the lowest setting. So let's go. I've noticed at the end there I did a bit of a cool shot to add the extra height and then I rolled it round to make sure the back bit kind of goes under. This end nozzle is heat protected, so it's not hot, so you can put your finger on it and you can get major control out of the actual heat roller. So now I'm gonna go in and do the little side bits that I didn't manage to get just there. Perfecto. 
and that's it for the it's literally so quick so i'll take this down and then i'm going to take down my fringe and the side bit and then i'm going to use this i'm going to go backwards and then forwards and i might finish off with a flat brush just to see how it goes i haven't actually used this on my new bangs yet so we'll see how it looks completely dry it's styled really nicely I don't need the flat brush and that took if I wasn't talking you through it, it would probably take me about six to seven minutes so air wrap all the way I love the heat styling brush I love the flat brush they give you such good results everyone always talks about the curling ones because obviously it's really cool to watch they're, they are brilliant the, the, the curls are insane they last for ages at the moment, my hair's a bit too short for those kind of curls because they do really spirally curls and they can look a bit mad with my hair length. However, I can do beach waves with them as well. If you're interested, I will happily show you that. But I love the hot brush. I love the flat brush. They're just so easy to use day to day when you haven't got loads of time. Because when I do use my supersonic, I will add how I style my hair, um, my everyday hair, with my supersonic up here somewhere. I did a video on it about six, seven months ago. My hair was a similar length and it does take longer. You have all the different brushes. I use my Philip Kingsley flat brush and a round brush and you just kind of, you know, have to keep stopping and using your hands. When you're just rushing, if, you just, if you've got longer hair, you could just use this. You could just brush your hair and it would be dry. The, um, the what do you call it? The um, rough dryer is amazing like it dries your hair so fast I mean, my hair is quite fine anyway it doesn't take too long to dry i washed my hair this morning in the shower i did my five minute makeup tutorial i will link that here for you and um so this is like a kind of get ready with me super fast if you've only got half an hour 40 minutes from shower to door this is the way to go so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday at 7 a.m. London time. I hope to see you soon and leave comments. Let me know if you've got the air wrap, if you like it, if you prefer the Revlon styler, are there other things that are out there that I need to get my hands on? Let me know. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.